Mike is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Coast Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there all you beautiful thrill seekers, my name is Coach Chad Donksterborn, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now, today's video is all about Pandemonium at Drayton Manor theme park. Now, we have official news that the ride is up for sale and we're going to be sharing all the information, we're going to be sharing what could be the future of the ride and also why this could be up for sale and why Drayton Manor could put this up for sale. If you want extra confirmation, I do have the uh, link to the website where you can find all the stuff about Pandemonium and on, on the website where it's up for sale, which is Interlink. Uh, there's, a lots, there's lots of stuff up for sale on Interlink. There's things like uh, an inverted coaster from B&M. There's other types of flat rides, there's dark rides and water rides, and they've even got their own products as well. So make sure you go check out Interlink, the actual web link for this particular attraction up for sale on Interlink is linked in the description uh, down below the video, so make sure you go check that out. Um, also guys, I'm going to be revealing a massive new video on New Year's Day. This is the official, the first official channel trailer and it's showing you everything that's set to come or could be coming in 2021. So make sure you stay tuned for that in a few days uh, and that will all be coming up on the channel very, very shortly. So before we get started to talk about Pandemonium, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you comment down below your questions as well because we'd like to keep the questions coming in for the next Q&A video to celebrate 3,000 subscribers when we hit. 3k i'd love to get to at least 5k by the end of the next year if not 10k you know 10k would be amazing 5k would be brilliant 3k would be amazing obviously um and also guys make sure you subscribe to the channel click the location bell so you never miss another thrilling youtube video also guys in the description down below you can submit your video ideas using the google forms link i see all of them weekly i check it weekly so all your video ideas as long as you put them down there with your social media names to give you a shout out on the video it's all there i save it weekly so don't you worry it will get saved also guys in the description down below you can subscribe to tiktok twitter instagram and snapchat and also Follow the Discord server, because we're doing a lot of interactive videos next year with the Discord server. So if you want to be part of that and be on the channel, then get into the description and go and look at that. Also, bit of a note, 30th of December 2020, go on to Digital Dan's YouTube channel, because there's, a very, there's some familiar faces sharing their highlights of this season. Even though there wasn't much of a season this year, there have still been some wonderful highlights. So go over there and check it out on the 30th of December. In fact, go over to Digital Dan immediately and subscribe to him. He's brilliant. He's a fan of mine. I'm a fan of his. Brilliant. And for now, guys, let's have a look exactly what's going on with Pandemonium up for sale at Drayton Manor. So, the Pandemonium, again, like I said, the Interlink uh, website link is in the description down below. But, for those of you who need a little bit of history on this, uh, the Sky Flyer was originally opened at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach back in 1987. That was the original ride at Drayton Manor. It operated for two seasons at Great Yarmouth before moving to Drayton Manor. Opened in 1989 by Doctor Who, then... Uh, John Pertwee. Now the ride served the park for a number of years however by the early 2000s was suffering mechanical issues resulting in noticeable downtime. The park resolved this by disposing of the ride at the end of the 2003 season and it was sold to Mondial who originally developed the ride type in conjunction with the coma who refurbished the ride back to reliable working order. It then went for a single season at Bayside Fun Park then it went to uh, um, Bridlington, in Brid well in Bridlington and then the station, Bridlington, the ride suffered vandalism with the perpetrators losing bolts on the ride. It then had spells at Slaski, Wasole, Miasteko in Poland, uh, followed by Wieden Park in Hungary. And then it returned to Slaski, Wasole, Miasteko in 2013. Uh, now, of course, when it was sold from Drayton Manor back at the end of 2003, it was replaced in 2004 by Pandemonium. Now, this is a similar type of ride to the original Vacoma Skyflyer. However, this is a Fabry model. This is the Cataclysm model by Fabry Wright. And um, 
it's it was st it's still there currently to this day however maybe not for much longer as the ride is currently up for sale and i'm going to discuss my thoughts right now about why i think the ride is up for sale however it is definitely very very interesting now if you want to look at the interlink website again links in the description down below and if you're looking for the right product obviously i've linked it down below specifically it is known as the double hammer on the website so it'd be interesting to see what kind of parks decide to buy this attraction so there we go that's talking about all the details and the history of the site of pandemonium from skyfly to the pandemonium uh, of course skyfly being sold on to different parks in poland hungary bridlington in the uk uh, and by 2004, they brought in the Pandemonium to replace the original Skyflyer at Drayton Manor. Um, and it's been operating, I mean, this year it'll be 16 years of operation. So, you know, it's definitely a long, long ride. It'll be 17 years next year, but maybe it won't operate next year. I think if it does close for the whole of 2021, we are looking at the end of Pandemonium here. Um, now, Pandemonium, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's a decent ride. It's, uh, it's an okay flat ride, I'm not going to lie, it's a decent flat ride, it's alright. Um, I tried it back on my visit in 2008 to Drayton Manor and you know I think it's an alright ride it's an okay attraction and um, you know it's not one of my favorite flat rides it was quite rough um, but I do think it was the original pandemonium and they did make improvements you know in later seasons uh, to enhance the ride um, however this does raise questions and it raises the story of why pandemonium is up for sale and I think the the big notice around this is that Drayton Manor's going in the family direction. I hit my light again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going in the it's going in the family direction, and you know Drayton Manor are going to sort of make their money and make their revenue by selling on the thrill ride and sort of you know making it more of a family theme part. Now Looping's Group may have took this into a different direction, or Looping. I mean Looping's Group now is the owner of Drayton Manor, so you know maybe they didn't want to go into a, just a family direction. Maybe they do want to go again into the family thrill market. However. However, maybe Pandemonium is one ride they don't want at their part because maybe they've got some plans to replace that ride with a different attraction. Now, I could be wrong. I could be right. Um, and I reckon the Loopings Group could do some really good stuff with Drayton Manor. I think Drayton Manor, in my opinion, out of all the parks in their brand now, it is the capital theme park in the Loopings Group. And, you know, they could do some really cool stuff with it. They could do some really amazing things with it in terms of new rides and attractions in future years. And I think the investment will start at the park very, very soon. And I think the Pandemonium, in my opinion, um, isn't part of that future. I think Pandemonium will do well at a different park, uh, whether that be Lightwater Valley or maybe it's go it goes to Flamingo Land and it's renamed the Skyflyer in homage to their previous attraction, Skyflyer. Uh, if you don't know the history of that, Flamingo Land had an attraction called Skyflyer. It moved to Pleasure Island to operate as Voltar for its last operating season as a theme park. And then it moved over uh, to a different country. I believe it was moved to Iraq. or uh, No, Iran, I think it was. So, um, you know, I think it, it's, it's somewhere else now. And, you know, maybe Flamingo wants to pay homage to the old Skyflyer by naming this relocated re and pre-bought pandemonium as Skyflyer. And, you know, there's other parks in the UK that maybe want this attraction. You know, I think the Pleasurewood Hills could do with this attraction. I mean, you've got to establish the connections. You know, the Loopings Group, Pleasurewood Hills, and Drayton Manor, both owned by the same park. So, again, you could understand the fact that maybe uh, Pandemonium could move to another Loopings Group theme park. So, again, that could raise questions about other parks around Europe and sort of establish that connection with parks around the rest of the world owned by the Loopings Group. Um, you know, and I think that that could be a potential connection. So, again, comment down below what you think. Where do you think Pandemonium's going? Um, so they could keep it within the Loopings Group connection, sell it to Pleasurewood Hills or somewhere else in the chain, or they could sell it to just a different park in general. And I think in terms of UK parks, Flambards, I mean, they've brought... So I think they brought the Obliterator, I believe it was. Um, I think that's its name, or the Terrorizer or something like that. Um from Pleasure Island, the, the Frisbee ride. I think, you know, that's now at Flambards. Um, so I think, you know, they've got a history of pre-buying rides, and I think that, you know, maybe Flambards could go back in and buy the old Pandemonium. Maybe Creeley, maybe Creeley, one of the Creeley Park, um, could get the um, the Pandemonium as their most thrilling attraction. 
Poulton's Park could even buy it and try and make it into a decent attraction. You know what Poulton's Park's like. They could they could, they could make anything decent with the amount of level of detail and theme they could put in it. Um, maybe it opens along with this this track that we've seen on site recently at the back end of Tornado Springs, like a phase two. <laughs> uh, maybe like a little steampunk mini area at the end of the Tornado Springs. Uh, no, I'm joking, of course. Uh, it won't go to Poulton's Park. Um, Lightwater Valley, I mean, if they had the money, if I was Lightwater Valley, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I said it in a previous video, I'll say it again. Lightwater Valley, get your checkbooks out. Um, this would do wonders for your park. I think if Lightwater Valley had a brand new owner, I reckon they could make some wonderful investments into that park. I really don't want this or next year to be the light last year of the Light Water Valley theme park because it's got such a rich history, such a uh, such a rich amount of memories from families. And I think that a ride like Pandemonium and other rides, they could really revitalise that park, get a uh, another manufacturing, you know the old Toad Hole ride, you know, that old splash ride down on the hillside. Um, maybe get someone in to do like a modern uh, representation of that you know what parks are like sometimes you know getting a manufacturing to bring back the old classic defunct ride types in a new way things like that um so maybe pandemonium would work at like water valley it would work at flambards it could work somewhere else maybe it works on one of the piers like brighton or clacton in portsmouth um so it's gonna be interesting to see where this ride goes and where it will open to and who buys the ride so i'm not too sure exactly what the price is but if there's any manufacturers watching this then go into the link in the description down below the ride link is there go there buy it sell it to the park go for it um but there we go guys so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update from pandemonium at drayton manor stay tuned for a theme park news update coming this evening from seaworld san antonio on the latest construction on their two brand new rides that's probably now going to open in 2022 but there we go guys thank you very very much for watching this theme park news update stay tuned uh, for the 30th of December 2020, familiar faces on Digital Dan's highlights of the theme park season with all the content creators and enthusiasts, so stay tuned for that. Also, get your video ideas in the description down below. Comment down below your thoughts, opinions, and questions for the next Q&A video when we hit 3K subs. Uh, also, guys, uh, stay tuned on New Year's Day because we've got a channel trailer, like a full channel update, which is your channel trailer to suggest what could be happening on this channel in 2021. For now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a pandemonium-tastic day.